Alright, so I'm going to do like three hands just to show you how easy this is to do. This is your opening hand. Not the greatest. Uh, kind of takes a sold off the plate. Normally you want to summon your uh, giant ogre here in the middle main monster zone. Though, with the soul taking out of the picture, which kind of sucks. Uh, actually, no. Might still be able to. Hold on. Let's see. First of all, activate Hornet Jones. Summon myself a warrior. Okay. I'm going to normal summon. And of course, use its effects. Now, uh, I'm, I know I'm playing against myself. I kind of fucked up a little bit there. I should have terraforming for uh, the field spell and played it first for anything else. And that's my drawback. If you go and end up in this play, I would suggest doing that first. But, you know, let's just close that for right now. Uh, but, you know, you have that option. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, well, you can really link off either. I say go ahead and link off the token and that for her there. Now Octo Stretch's effect is going to activate and a Soul's effect will activate. You're going to always choose the Goki that you tribute off as Link 1 and this one is Link 2 and it'll go backwards of course. Now what you want to do with Octo Stretch is normally search out Rescorpio. You'd rather not draw him, you'd rather get him in the grave so you can rematch and use his effects at a later time. So you're going to get him to hand. Now he cannot have his effects used at all and he can't be summoned this turn. Then Octo Stretch, the Goki that you use, whether it's Octo Stretch, Suprex, whatever, it doesn't matter what Goki you use, you're going to search Headbat. And if you open with Rescorpio, but you have a way of like uh, summoning it and then say um, either Blue Mountain Butter Spy or Shades of Brigadine or something and you link off with it, you can really at that point in time search out any. Or if you have more Gokis, you go with that and you leave it in your hand and you get a free search. There's easy ways to work around it, but if you use it, you can search off any Goki. You just need a target for Headbat's effect. So at this point in time, you're going to search Headbat. Okay. Now, because you now this is normally where you would have Octo Stretch. You would have sent Horn from deck to the grave by her second effect, which of course was dead because you opened both Octo Stretches. Um, you would have Octo Stretch here, but whatever, it still works. You're going to activate Headbat's effect, discard Rescorpio. You don't want him in your hand. Target, special. This shit don't really matter. Uh, you know, standard plays, but instead of going into like. Phoenix or Cerberus here, you go into Jet Ogre. You're going to activate the effects, provided they don't have an Ash Blossom, but even if they do, you getting off with one search is just fine. You really just need to get out Ogre, and then you're actually pretty good. If both go through, though, I say grab both rematches. Then you're back out so you don't draw into them later, and then you are guaranteed set up for the next, at least uh, for next turn, when you get this one, and you know you have another index that you can get, which will set you up for the next turn. You're going to rematch right off the bat. Uh, it doesn't matter what you bring back. You've most likely already used all their effects. And obviously, uh, you can't, as you notice, pick for Scorpio because he cannot be summoned at all, even though he was discarded to the grave by Headbat. Then you're going to link those two, Suprax, Headbat, and uh, Jet Ogre into, technically you could go into a lot of different things, but the main one you'll go into is him. Now see, Jet Ogre automatically is going to boost him up by 500, you see? And then his effect, if it'll let me do it, boosts him up by 45. Both effects last till the end of the turn. So right away, you got yourself Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The, I think both versions. Uh, powered Beater there. And you're going to end with that. Now, let's go on to 
two more times, shall we? We are back with the second duel. As you can see, it's in play. You got that ash stopper. Ash on the next turn. You're going to, uh, this time you're definitely going to go ahead and, and uh, which of course does no fucking good when you have to terraforming it. I just realized that, but, uh, hmm, I may actually have to change that out some. I thought that it, uh, you could add it and then still go into it. It seems you can't. Well, if you got any better suggestions for this card in general, or to take out for terraforming, let me know. I could use some ideas. That's the one fix I'd do. But okay, on to that. You still got to call by the grave, so you're still good. You're going to special summon your junk forder, and you're going to normal summon your Goki suplex. Now, you know I'm not perfect. I don't have everything figured out. I'm going to go for a sold. Of course, uh, suplex is going to go off, and then uh, a sold is going to go off. You know for a fact the sold's going to get you a Scorpio. And, and of course, Suprex will get your head back. Now this pretty much works 95% of the time. Uh, granted, I do got to make two changes with the terraforming now. I get the drawback of that card now. Or maybe I'll trade this out for... Uh, Sign up mining wouldn't work. Or not sign up mining, but uh, that new filled spell coming out. That ain't going to work because that would completely cripple you completely. <laughs> oh, well, I'll figure it out. You're going to summon him. Doesn't matter where. Then you're going to activate. Discard. Special. Uh, target that. Sorry. Special summon. And you kind of go for the same plays. You really just need uh, one Goki rematch here, but uh, going for multiples always guarantees you have a next turn setup, provided nothing happens. And, uh, yeah. Standard play occurs. You use a rematch. Sir, special whoever. I don't know where anybody thought Goki rematch was a fair and balanced card. You get it, it's, it's. Like two surfaces, but for any Goki. As long as their levels are different. It's like, what the hell? Well, it makes Link 4 and Gokis just like easier to do than Link 3s. Hell, easier to do than Link 1s. Link 2s and 4s are all I run because it's just easier. And as you can see, is this. I'll look into the terraforming thing and I'll put in the description of the video what to replace and if y'all have suggestions please uh, let me know that's a good card to follow up with for the last hand I show you this one actually I got a few options here still got the stopper with the call by the grave you got uh, yeah you know what we'll go instant fusion 
I mean, giving up a thousand is not that big of a deal. And then, of course, you'll summon Rojin. Normal summon. Link. It, it pretty much just requires one Goki and one Warrior. I mean, literally, this combo is that good. I mean, hell, the meta deck pretty much used it to go into Firewall that easy. And then on following turns, you will rematch. Yeah, you will rematch, bring out two, link them off for a link two. Search usually Suprex and something else. Summon Suprex. Suprex will summon the other one from his hand. You'll link into another link two, and then you can, or you can link into a link four. You know, then you'll use those two plus the one link two to go into Borload, uh, Borload or Boral Sword, or the new Mech Knight monster, or Griffin. You know, you got options. And the Link 2s you go into could be a Phoenix to pop something, Cerberus to help, or a Kashik Magician to bounce back an extra monster. So I just need to add Rescorpio. And then... And see, this card's the... My Goki Giant Ogre is going to come back even if you kill the son of a bitch, just so you know. And this is 95% of the time the type of hands I get where I, as long as I get usually one Goki. If I double draw um, Octo Stretch, it does hurt me a little. And if I draw into Headbat, it kind of fucks me over. If Unless I draw into other Gokis. But if it's Headbat and a Warrior Extender, that's actually the one play I can't make. Or if it's the wrong Warrior Extender and Scorpio is another one. Doesn't happen all that often, but occasionally that'll happen. Or not drawing into a Goki or an Extender at all, but I run so many of each that I'm bound to most of the time on that one. So there are ways to get dead draws, but overall it's uh, easily done. And you can easily change this deck up. Instead of running Giant Ogre, run other rank 4s and 2s to make it just a Goki beatdown deck. Fuck, it may not be Firewall or Gumblar, but it could just be a beatdown with all the great love, uh, rank 4, rank 4s, link 4s, link 2s and 3s, and hell, throw some link 1s in there if you want to. Doesn't matter. So, you got a few options with this build, and of course, tweak it to your own design, obviously. And of course, here, we would search the, uh, the I'll try to miniaturize this down, because I feel like this might be a little long. Try to cut out some of the blabble or long space, so if you notice, like, uh, moments going where massive talking to completely new conversation, eh, you'll kind of get the concept why. right here I could activate the effect should be any Goki I have to boost up another Goki by that attack now I wouldn't want to do that here but I will show a combo that say late in game uh, normally on my turn but late in game if if I needed a bigger boost I could do this ain't something I do on my first turn though so, of course, Jet Ogre's effect's going to activate. Boost him up by 500, right? Okay, so now he's 45. But just say I need to get him a little stronger. Monster Reborn, this, or if I can normal summon him, or even then through Goki Rematch. Sixty-one in damage. 
And sometimes I'll follow it up with the head back, giving him an additional 800 till the end of the turn. He can become beefy. And of course, the stronger he gets, the more monster effects he's unaffected by. This don't just count monster effects on the field. If you say Effect Veiler him upon summon, since Effect Veiler is zero attack, I believe, uh, it will do shit. Ogre, nothing. And nobody's going to have a Winter Cherries with this as their target, really. Unless they play me or something and really hate the card. This ain't something you prepare for. And then, of course, on your other turn, you're going to use this Goki rematch here. And you're going to bring back, and you can literally go into that, that. I would never really go into two. I mean, you could, though. That, 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 that. Uh, and of course, usually if you have, like, say you need to go into a, a rank, a, a link two, and then go into with two monsters for a Boral or another extra deck monster for a Mech, uh, make sure one of them's this, so that the Great Ogre, once it's linked off, will get that 500 boost and then can boost it himself, making him even stronger. And then of course you got Phoenix and, uh, you know, back row control. Uh, usually destruction effect control, and just to bounce some extra monsters. Because you don't want to deal with that shit. Anyway, that's the deck. That's how the duels work. Let me know what you think. And if you got suggestions for terraforming, because I'd like to take them out and put something in, please let me know in the comment section below. I thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Da -da 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 -da.